Hi, I'm Kathy Ann White. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use patterns to texture sections of an image before I print one of my constructed surfaces. My surfaces vary, and it's important to me that I customize an image for the different places they're going to be printed. For example, if I have an image that I'm going to print on metal, it might not look as good on a piece of silk when it looks amazing on metal. So when I manipulate the image, it allows me to enhance what is printed. So doing this, I'm going to use patterns and layer styles and show you what I do. Now last time, the last video I did was how to create a pattern from an image using Photoshop. And that one I showed you how to do a repeat pattern from an image and add that pattern to the pattern palette. And so that's the kind of stuff I'm going to use today. So here's the image that I'm going to use because it actually has um, very uh, spaces that are flat. And so you're really, really going to be able to see how I texture the images. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my magic wand tool and I usually leave it at about 35. And so then all I'm going to do, I'm going to take this background off so it's not locked anymore. Doesn't really matter, I guess. And I'm going to pick s parts of the image to add to other layers. So all I'm going to do is click and go Command J, Commander Control J, which is going to give me another layer which is above this image and it's going to have a selection of what was in the image. So then I'll go back to the actual original layer and I'll pick something else and I'll send that to its own layer. So this is the type of thing I would do over and over and over and until I get enough layers selected. But since we don't want to be here all day, I'm just going to show you quickly what I do and then I'll show you a finished image. So if I go to this layer and I double click on it, uh, my layer style palette comes up. If I hadn't done that, if I went up to layer, layer style, I would have the same exact menu to use. So I'm going to click out of that because I'm going to go back here and do the double click there. Because what happens here is I like this box better. And I can click texture like right there and if you look here this is already textured and the reason that is if I double click on the word this is the first pattern that is in my pattern palette or one of them and it's going to be what you can see how it's selected here it's going to be the first thing chosen to um, to actually texture that layer so if you look here and I change what these things are for the different things in the pattern palette, then I'm going to get different types of textures on the layer. Now here is one of the things also, is that once you do that, if you go behind here, you can see you can change your scale. So if it's a really repetitive pattern, say it looks something like, that's not really repetitive, neither is that. <laughs> Wow. Oh, that is. Okay, so if it's really repetitive like that and you don't want that to show, then you can kind of take it out and enlarge it a bit and spread it out a bit. And then you can change the depth or you can make it more texture or less texture. So just for this time right there, I'm going to um, just add that texture by approving it. Now, if I wanted to, I could go back here to this original layer. Say I wanted to add these pieces to it and I didn't think of that in, at the first time, but I only wanted to add these little pieces in here to broaden the texture, but not get it into other colors. So in that case, I'm on my original image and I don't want on my, my original layer and I don't want these to go. So I am going to click shift if I want to add which I don't and option or control if I want to get rid of and then I'm going to go up to I don't want that one I'm going to go up to my regular lasso tool and I'm going to just go around those and get rid of them because I don't want to add textures in those spots so if you see that that's a good way to get rid of 
where you don't want to put the texture if you're just trying to add something to a layer because you decided you needed more. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, do your Command or Control J so that goes to its own layer and you want to add this and this layer together. So if you take the eyes off the other layers and these are the ones that are visible now you can scroll up here and go layer merge visible or you can do the shortcut and I don't want to hide my ha huh. well okay so I usually do it this way I just merge the two visible layers and they go together and that was the uh, I'll show you that was if you go down here it says uh, shift commander control E that's how I usually do it, so I don't usually get that little message. Then I can turn my other parts back on, and I can go back here and start over again and do my layer style and my texture and decide what I want or go back to the same one that I had before and enlarge it or pick a new one. So I'm going to do this one, and I'm going to enlarge it because I don't want it that close together. And that is way better. Okay, so then I'm going to click OK. So then the next thing I'm going to do is go up to this layer and do the same thing. And maybe I'll just contour this layer instead of using a texture. Then if I want to get more options in the contour, I click on the word and I get more options. So if you look over here, you can see it changing. So you find what you like, and I'm taking that, and then you click OK. And then you continue to decide what you're going to do and how you're going to layer this over. So let me take this all the way to the end, and then you'll see the finished image. And now at this point, I have texture on a whole bunch of the images, and you can see actually, I mean, I can go down this and turn them on, or I mean off actually, going down them one by one, so you can see what effect that they all had. And now you're back to the actual image. So as you turn them back on, then you can see what happened in the different little areas and it all is using layer styles and now none of this has anything to do with um, using any of the blending modes or anything this is just pure using patterns to texture the different layers so you can take this absolutely anywhere you want and it's just one technique to take an image and give it some dimension and make it a bit more interesting so be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video below, and also feel free to share my videos on your blogs or other places on the web because you just never know who might want to see what's happening with some of these kind of things that they can simply do to images and have something interesting. Thank you.